Chapter 45. Arriving at the arena. Is that Wu Xiao? It is, it is Wu Xiao. Shouts of surprise filled the air around the crowd as they watched Wu Xiao fly out of the main hall and roll down the steps. Wu Xiao was much stronger than Feng Qian. He was quite famous in Yangzhou City, but this genius had also been defeated by that unknown young man who had entered the main hall. Being injured and publicly humiliated was the price that he paid for angering Lin Feng. Lin Feng had shown him no mercy and insulted him as he kicked him from the main hall. Who is that young disciple? How arrogant. Which clan does he belong to? I have never seen him before today. Where did he come from? Everybody who was there wanted to know who that young man was. They did not believe that there was such a genius within Yangzhou City who had escaped their attention for so long, a disciple who was this strong would have come to the attention of the smaller clans by now. However, they had absolutely no idea who this young man was, how was such a thing possible? If everyone knew who that arrogant and domineering young man who had just entered the main hall was, they would be astonished to know that it was the piece of trash who had been expelled from the Lin clan. According to the rumors he was expelled along with his father for being trash, his father had even attacked a junior clan member to protect Lin Feng. They would be shocked that the trash within these rumors was the powerful and domineering young man in front of their eyes. The other disciples, who were in the main hall all belonged to the smaller clans within Yangzhou City, they were all the talented and powerful members of the younger generations. The disciples who made up the eight participants were the strongest talents which the smaller clans could develop. The day of the annual tournament had finally arrived and there was a huge commotion as the crowd watched members from the larger clans arrive in the arena. This would be a chance for them to see all of the talents which would shape the future of the city. They would not have this opportunity often. Look over there, seated on the southern part of the arena are the members of the Lin clan. The one in the middle is Lin Ba Dao. It looks like the rumors are true, Lin Hai's cultivation was crippled by Lin Ba Dao and then his son and him were expelled from the Lin clan. Discussions could be heard while many people were looking at where the Lin clan members were sitting. One could hear all sorts of comments from the crowd. There was a constant discussion, and many people were paying attention to the Lin clan because of the rumors which were circulating in Yangzhou city. It had caused a sensation throughout the city. At that moment, the rumors were confirmed. That's Lin Qian, how beautiful. But she's a bit scary, she has already broken through to the Ling Qi layer, and she's only 16 years old. She's amazing. I wish she could on day become my wife. In your dreams, oh keep it down, if people from the Lin clan hear you, they'll cripple your cultivation or even worse behead you. I'm just saying, look over there, the Na Lan clan has also arrived, that's the head of the city and the princess Na Lan Feng. You are listening to Peerless Martial God Audio on Light Novel Aloud. The crowd continued to make comments as the people arrived in the arena. At that moment, the members of the Na Lan clan had already arrived and had taken their respective seats in the arena, close to the stage. Na Lan Shang was famous, tall and sturdy, he looked extremely prestigious. Only by looking at him, it was easy to guess that he had an extraordinary power. When Na Shang saw the expressions of the people in the crowd, he smiled and then immediately said, Today, everybody was able to come to the tournament that I organized. I, Na Lan Shang, am extremely happy. However, if anyone dares to make trouble, I, Na Lan Shang, will not hesitate and will deal with you in a very rude manner. Many people nodded. They were facing the Na Lan clan. Even if they wanted to cause trouble, they first needed the skills and abilities to do so. All right, enough with my useless speech. I know that all of you haven't come to listen to an old man like me. Let's invite our outstanding young cultivators to come onto the battle stage, all right? said Na Lan Shang and then he sat down. Everybody nodded when he finished speaking. All the young and outstanding disciples were getting ready to make their appearance on the stage. End of chapter 45. Yes, this is a short chapter. Hope you guys enjoy the chapter. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell button for future updates.